All right, so in this video of Salesforce Bytes, we'll talk about how can you create customer or partner users in Salesforce. Now, customer or partner users are nothing but community users or rather experience users. Now that community has been redefined as experiences, we will go ahead and create some experience users. So your normal internal users go, go through the traditional user creation fashion wherein you have a profile and you can create users under that profile. This is for internal users, but for creating partner or community users or any kind of partner or customer users, you'll have to take a route of creating a partner account or a customer account and then creating some associated partner or customer contacts and then en enabling those contacts as users in the system. Okay, so let's take a look at how this can be done. What I have right now is if I take a look at the profiles, I have a customer community plus user profile or I have a partner community user profile right so let's go ahead and use one of them what i'll be doing first of all is creating an account so let's go to accounts let's click on new account and i'll call it test partner account okay let's click on save i have some fields that are mandatory let's say three and let's click on save so my account is created and what I want to do is I want to enable this account as a partner account. Now I don't see any actions available on the lightning UI. What I'll have to do is I'll have to switch to classic and do the rest of the work. So I'll qu quickly switch to classic and I'll open my test partner account. And if you notice, I have a button that's called manage external account. And if I, if I click on this drop down, I have an option that says enable as partner, right? So I can enable this account as partner. And this is basically once your account is enabled as a partner, it appears in reports and list views that are filtered on the is partner field. Okay. There's just some info that uh, Salesforce is giving as a uh, info, info alert. And it says that additionally, you can create partner users by creating contacts associated to the account. Exactly what I said, right? So I'll just say, okay. And now this account has been enabled as a partner account and you can very well go ahead and disable it if you don't want it in future. But now that you have a partner account created, the next, the very next thing that you want to do is create associated contacts to it. So when you create a new contact, I'll just call it test partner contact. And this is associated to the test partner account, right? It's normal standard contact creation, but we'll have to do the same thing of enabling this particular contact okay it says that you please only choose partner referral accounts for this contact so let me just click on i think this is some sort of validation rule that I, I might have put let me just quickly check and just deactivate that just give me a second i don't have any validation rules here so let's take a look at the fields And I have a filter here, right? So there's a look of filter that's created. This was part of some other video that I created. So let me just get rid of this filter. Okay. So I've just deactivated my filter. And now that I go back here and I just try to save it, it should save up fine. Right. So my contact is created and I hope you see the same button coming up here that you want. You can manage your external user by either enabling this contact as a customer user or a partner user. Right. There are two types of licenses available for community. You can either have customer community licenses or partner community licenses. OK. What I'll go ahead and do is I'll enable customer user. And when I do that, this takes me to the new user creation screen with all my details filled up, which are on the account and the contact level. Now. If you notice, I can I have the customer community plus user license already enabled and I can just choose a profile here, which is the customer community user plus and I can just give a email username and I can just go ahead and say save. Now when I click on save, this sends out a welcome email to this particular user and they should be able to configure their password. Okay, it looks like there's some issue here. So it's saying that To create or update users for this profile, you need to go to digital experiences settings and select allow using as external. Okay, so that let's go, let's let's go and do this. So there's something that's missing in terms of the setup. I believe I don't have any 
portal created for this particular org so what I'll do is I'll just go to digital experiences I'll go to settings and it says that you need to allow using ac standard external profiles for self registration so let's go ahead and check this box so this should be somewhere down here this right here right this is what it is trying to prompt us to do so I'll just click on this check I'll just say ok and I'll click on save okay now once that is done my user creation should be successful okay a, a new error that's coming up that's said that's basically portal account owner has no role now this is something to do with my user here what normally happens is for you to be able to create a portal user or a portal contact or a, or basically yes a community user your account or your profile or your user associate associated to that profile should have a role associated okay but i believe that i do not have any role in the system in terms of the role hierarchy so i'll just go ahead and give myself the admin role so i'll just go to users i'll open my user which is the sf trainer right here i'll click on edit and there won't be any role associated so i'll have to provide a role here so if you see the role field is none so i'll just go ahead and make myself probably the ceo okay i'll just click on save and now that i do this I should be able to create a user in the system. Let's try it one more time and hopefully this, this time it should succeed, succeed. Yep. So this time your contact partner contact user has been created and if you notice the user that you have created will have a contact field populated and if you have to log into any portal what you can do is you'll have to go you would have the username and password and the portal URL separately but if you want to do it from Salesforce you can just go to this contact and you'll have a button that would be login to experience as user so you can just log into your portals based on the access that you have and you can access the portals and you know work as a community user so that's how you can add a partner or a customer community user in the system thank you